So a brand new patch for Power World has not long been released and today guys we go through the entire patch notes. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be in with a chance of winning one simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Winners will be picked from the comments section and announced in a couple of days so good luck. Okay, so literally as I made this video five minutes ago, they tweeted out saying patch notice and they dropped a few patch notes too. So let's get into it. So on Steam, this is patch version 0.1.4.1 and on Xbox, it's version 0.1.1.4. Now the Steam version has been released already and the Xbox version will be released as soon as it's ready. Okay, so on to patch notes, uh, major fixes fixed an issue where the game would always crash and save data would be corrupted when the total number of powers captured by the guild reached approximately 7,000. Now this is madness to me. This is absolute madness to me. I mean, what guilds out there have 7,000 powers between them? They must be some mad ass tamers that is for sure. I mean, congratulations, 7,000 is a massive number. But yeah, this is a problem that has been fixed now for the guilds out there that have over 7,000 powers. Utterly ruthless. Okay, so they're going to say in the previous patch, save data that had already been in the state for servers, the server's world data remained in a broken state that made it impossible to load. But after applying this patch, it will be resolved and will load properly. I've actually got a pal on xbox now i'm not sure if this is the fix he's playing in his friend's world but the world works it loads but when they go to save it doesn't actually save so when they go back onto the server it just basically puts him in where they last was he doesn't know what's wrong with it so i'm hoping this fixes that issue okay so fix an issue where some weapons equipped by other players would disappear when a player used a grenade in multiplayer okay weird one fixed an issue where although the display capture probability increased when the capture power was strengthened with a lift monk effigies the capture probability did not actually increase at all due to an internal processing bug so let me just read that again fixed an issue where although the display capture probability increased when their capture power was strengthened with a lift monk effigies the capture probability did not actually increase at all due to an internal processing bug do you know what i'm pretty sure if this doesn't go for everybody i'm pretty sure i have this issue i mean i'm fully maxed out in regards to my effigies and my capture probability but it doesn't seem like it's done anything in regards to me capturing powers it really don't so i'm hoping this is something i had a problem with and it's now fixed for me that would be cool okay so onto base related fix an issue where if a power that was manually assigned to a brooding farm went to sleep it would not wake up forever what that was actually a thing jeez they have a saying for that in england it's called shagged out i mean that's absolutely hilarious okay so moving on fixed an issue where no wood would drop when a pal at the base felled a tree okay weird one okay so on to others implemented countermeasures against some cheats and exploits now i'm hearing there's a lot of problems with multiplayer so I'm hoping they get all these problems resolved before they introduce the multiplayer service because I mean, I do plan on playing multiplayer, I can't wait for that. And if you can, as they mentioned on the roadmap, migrate onto a server with all your powers, that'll be pretty cool. The last thing I wanna do is play against cheaters. I mean, that is just not what I want. And I'm hearing already that right now, the multiplayer servers, I've got a ton of cheaters on them. So hopefully, this sorts out some of the problems people are having but yes okay so they go on to end the tweet with we will continue development placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues thank you for your continued support of power world and there we have it guys that is the latest patch and the patch notes that have come with it again steam is out right now it's version 0.1.4.1 and the next box it's coming very soon as soon as it's ready it's version 0.1.1.4 Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.